In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I hear a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved, and the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when the morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks a bow and shatters a spear. He burns a chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I'll be exalted among the nations. I'll be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We are now facing some difficult and uncertain times. But in these days, we look to what is certain. The 46th Psalm recounts to us the mighty deeds of our God. In ancient days, he protected his city of Israel. He saved that city. He dwelt in the midst of his people. In the midst of the rage and fury of foreign kings and opposing nations, he preserved peace against warfare and weapons. In the same way, God dwells with us. Each of us Christians, whom he has redeemed in the waters of holy baptism, is his dwelling place. Will he not preserve us as he preserves his whole church here on earth? Indeed, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. What's more, the 46th Psalm tells us, There is a river the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God. We are a stream that will not dry up, for God is near us. God will never forsake us. And we praise God for being here with us. He miraculously preserves his word against all the dangers that we face. Yes, against hell and temptations. He is a refuge. He is our rock. And even though we be a little spring of water, he is a fountain of life welling up within us. In times that we go through deep waters, through affliction, in times that we are carried about by doubts and temptations, we have a refuge. We have a rock. Jesus Christ, in whose cleft side we find our refuge and we hide ourselves until the calamity is passed by. These are uncertain times. But in them as Lutherans, we have see and we see what we have already and always had. God, our refuge and strength. We need not fear, for God is in the midst of us. The kingdom ours remaineth. Amen. We confess our faith now in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe.
believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks be to you, our Father, for all the mercy and truth that you have shown to us in these many days. Grant your word to dwell with us continually. Defend your church against all her enemies. Keep us in your grace and preserve for us temporal and eternal peace through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.